What? Oh, hello there. Sorry, I didn't notice you. I was busy jamming to some Grey Eyes Garden. You never heard of Grey Eyes Garden? Of course you have. Here, have a listen, you'll recognize. See, I, I knew you had knew who they were. Um, they were the music Grey Eyes Garden was created by a uh, true mastermind, um, Matt Kunzler, who of course you've heard of him. Look, you haven't heard of him? Of course you have. This is here. Let me show you uh, his picture. This is him uh, along with his review for the GMAT data sufficiency prep course. Uh, just a all around stunning individual. Uh, a man of letters, a man of many talents. Um, one of which being uh, his editing abilities. One of the most amazing YouTube videos is uh, My Name Is Not Fahulio, which was masterfully edited by none other than the same. Matthew Kunzler. So, there you have it. Wait. You do know who he is? You are Matthew Kunzler? Oh. <laughs> Happy birthday, Matthew. I'm celebrating your birthday in the only way I know how, by uh, celebrating all of your accomplishments. Um, I'm proud to be called your cousin. And I, I guess I, I owe you the thanks for all of these wonderful gifts. So thank you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear man. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Matt. Matt. Oh, we're so excited to be part of this celebration. Of you, happy birthday. What a great idea. There's so much to celebrate. We miss you guys so much, and we hope that uh, you have a wonderful birthday. One, uh, one memory that I'll share is just how warm and connecting uh, you were with everyone in our ward, but in particular with our youth. Love the way that you made them feel so special. I'll never forget those uh, sweet mission prep firesides at your home that the kids just love to be at. They just couldn't wait to get there, had such a great time. And I'm sure part of it was the, the treats, but even more than the treats, they just felt so loved and enjoyed so much being with you. Both, both of you just showed so much warmth and kindness and connection. And I remember from my youth, a couple that was like that, for me, I just couldn't get enough of being in their home and with them. And thank you so much for, for being that for our youth. You blessed them so much. We all miss you. Mm -hmm. I, um, we're over a minute, but I just have to say, you guys have been a really special couple in our ward. Um, you know, people come and go, but you've been really special ones that will always be remembered. Like just the really impressive, um, kind, loving, consecrated, um, full of light people that you are. Um, and um, we, as as time goes on, um, like the other week, Brian said, oh, this, this really great young couple moved into our ward and maybe Matt and Sarah-esque, like, wouldn't that be great if, if they're, you know, similar to them? Like there's potential that maybe they could kind of be like them, but we, you know, almost like rate everyone on the Matt and Sarah scale. Well, there, there are, there are two compared to Matt and, and um, Sarah and, or, um, boy, aren't they, aren't they so sweet like Matt and Sarah? So anyway, you're just our, our golden star, um, measuring stick, measuring stick, <laughs> <laughs> the best that there is. And we're so grateful we had those, those years with you. And, um, we hope you come back to Villa Vista sometimes. So we have more, more connection. We love you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Take care. Happy birthday. Matt. 
Happy birthday, Matt. It's always fun hanging out with you guys. Uh, we're all hoping that you'll have another great year and another great decade. Thank you all for always being around. Happy birthday. Bye. Bye. Say hi, Nacho. Hey, Matt. Happy birthday. Hope it's been a great one. You deserve the best. I can't believe you're 30 already. Can't believe we've been friends for half of our lives now. Um, one of the things I really appreciate about our friendship is we've always been able to just talk. Um, whether that be religion, politics, the stock market, or serious matters like who the Jazz should get in the off season. Um, that, that is nothing new. Uh, I remember back when we were in high school, I think we played ball until way too late at night. Um, and it snowed like eight inches and my little Saturn couldn't get out of the parking lot. And you went and got some shovels and we shoveled snow for like a couple hours, making a path out to the road so my car could get out. And really you've, you've always been there. I hope you have a great birthday and go Jazz. Hey man, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, son. <laughs> oh my goodness, you're getting old. <laughs> which um, um, entails me getting old too. I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday and let you know how much I love you. I was thinking about your very first birthday and um, you coming into this world. And it was in the middle of the night about, <clears throat> I, we, dad and I had gone to dinner and to a movie. Mitch was with Papa and Grammy at their cabin and it was, it, I don't know, it was just um, kind of meant to be. She, they were going to the cabin and she kind of insisted, like, let us just take him. You never know if you'll go into labor. And, and, and we did. But um, that evening, we, after in dinner, we were eating at the training table, which was my favorite hamburger place. And I was having contractions and dad would time them. And they were getting closer and closer about five minutes apart, but they weren't really painful yet. So we went home and I tried to lay in bed and I think dad was out watching a movie and and then it just, they became more and more painful and closer together. And we were living on the second floor of the apartment building. And as we were headed down to the car, there, uh, there, was, a, we had, there was a BYU football player who lived in the apartments that we lived in. I, I don't remember his name, but he, he was he was a kind guy. He was kind of a bigger guy. And he would stay up late, I, probably playing video games. I don't know. But his door was opened and because um, it was June, kind of warm. And this is, you know, it's after midnight and we're, we're headed down to the car. And he could guess what was happening. And he was really cute. He said, good luck. <laughs> it was just really cute. And we, anyway, we went to the hospital. Um. You know, I remember one time you telling me that you raised yourself and I, it probably started at, at birth because we were in the hospital and I was asleep and the nurse came in and she would shake, shake, or she shook my shoulders and she said, Mrs. Kunzler, you need to wake up. Your baby is about here. And, um, and I remember just kind of sleep, you know, the sleep in the eyes and and I said, what? And she said, your baby's almost here. And I had slept through all the contractions. And and so then there you were, this um, beautiful boy with dark hair and with your olive skin and, and just a delight. And we're so grateful to have you as we still are. Um, you have been an easy child to raise. And I guess you have raised yourself in a sense, but you did a darn good job. Um, I do want to share a quick funny story. <clears throat> Matt, well, maybe two stories, really quick. One of my favorite stories of Matt is the day that his mission call came. And because we live in this great little town of Ridgefield, I received a phone call that morning about 7 a.m. And um, it was the, po the post office letting me know that there was a... A, a special letter that I may want to come and get before it got put on the truck to be delivered. And so I, of course, thanked him and said, I'd be right there. I called Matt, who was living in Provo at the time, and um, said, it's here, and I'm going to get it right now. And Matt said, I'm on my way. 
and mom, I just really want the experience of opening the mailbox and pulling the, my, the letter out. So will you, when you get home, put it in the mailbox and shut the lid so that when I get home, then I can have this whole experience of going out to the mailbox. And crazy thing was that um, I, w I got home and quickly showered and and got ready, but Matt drove so fast. He didn't, he told me he didn't even go to the bathroom. He just quickly got there. And as he pulled up, there I was opening the mailbox, putting it in. And he just looked at me and said, well, I kind of took the, he kind of took the charm out of it, watching your mom put the letter in the mailbox. But I just loved that day, um, watching you walk around getting your hair cut and going to the grocery store and dad's office. We were just trying to burn time till dad could come home at lunch and you could open it. But you would not let go of it. Even when you got your hair cut, you put it under the cape and held it. And when we went to the grocery store, there was a lady who said, what you got there? And you said, my mission call. And she said, oh, Okay, like you're gonna carry it around, okay? It was just darling. Um, and then I just, this is this is the quincentential, quincen, okay, now I can't say the word, but this is Matt. Um, uh, so we took you to the MTC and it was a, an emotional day, more for us than you, except for the little side story of, of Grammy and Papa. But you were darling and we hugged you goodbye and you said to me, Mom, really quick, um, the, I left some stuff in the trunk of the car. I was gonna take care of it, but I just ran out of time. Would you mind taking care of it for me? And so, yeah, I'm sure what, you know, it was great, whatever, and you'll, you'll do anything for your missionary. And and so then you left and, um, and turned just before entering the door of the MTC and put your hands in the air and yelled, hurrah for Israel. Hurrah for Israel. <clears throat> so we had that spiritual ex moment with you. And then when we got home, I went to check the trunk of the car. And, and there was a stop sign and a railroad sign, very illegally taken. And I just was like, what am I going to do with these? How do I return these without getting in trouble? And um, I just remember just, yep, that's my mat. Um you are uh, a, a delight. You are fun. You are, um, you're my political buddy. I love you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm very proud of you and the life you have built. Um, as I think about my children, the thing that I'm most proud of is that they love the Lord and your love of his gospel thus your love of your wife and your children are all things that make us very proud and very, very happy. And, um, and happy birthday. I love you, son. Bonjour, Matt. Coucou, eh ben, Matt. On te fait un petit coucou de Madère et on te souhaite un joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire. Et à bientôt en France. Coucou des Français au Portugal. Ciao. Ciao. Happy birthday, Matt. Uh, it's, you've been such a great friend to me for as long as I can remember. And uh, we've had a lot of good memories together. Uh, but I was telling Allie the other day about how in the crime section of the Provo newspaper, there's once upon a time, an article that said, a man and two boys were caught sneaking into the Lavelle Edwards football stadium. She thought it was super funny. That was a good memory. Um, like I said, tons of other good memories. I remember also uh, going over to your house for lunch in high school and we'd play Super Smash or NCAA football. Those were good times. But yeah, hope you have a great birthday and love you, man. Hi, Matt. This is Philip and Kirsten. We just want to wish you a happy birthday. We're just uh, grateful for the opportunity we've had to know you, um, especially as you. We served together in the war in the Young Men's Presidency, and uh, that was a real pleasure and treat. And uh, I'm just so grateful to know you, and I hope that your next 10 years is amazing and wonderful and you accomplish a great things. So happy birthday, and um, hope to see you soon. Happy birthday, Matt! Bon anniversaire! Tu veux que
Our favorite memory is when we went all to Silver Dollar City and you got very sick on the ride. It was very fun. <laughs> Or in Florida when we were watching stingrays on the beach. Yes, good times. Good time. Yeah, well, favorite summer. memory is the last one. Last one? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, happy birthday, happy Matt. Birthday. Have a great year, okay? Eat a lot of cake. Eat a lot of cake, yeah. Hmm. Bisu bisu. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Matt. Love you, man. Um, Sarah also said to share a quick memory as well, and I don't know if there's just like one I could narrow it down to. All I know is that I need to thank you for like teaching me how to play all of the sports because I didn't know how to play them until I went to college and met you and all our other roommates. Um, also, you were like my closest music friend and um, college was like a really developmental time for my musical taste. So I have you to thank for like all of my playlists and of course, Arctic Monkeys, can't forget them. Um, so just, just love you, man. Welcome to 30. It's going to be great. <laughs> it's going to be the prime of your life. Happy birthday, Matt. Take care. Don't, Don't be jealous. jealous. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Matt. Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt. Just wanted to say happy birthday. Um, I want you to know how much I appreciate you as a young men's leader and as a friend and how much, like, I think about all the things you taught me and the experiences that we were able to share and I just really appreciate having you in my life and the experiences that we had. And so I wish you a happy birthday and enjoy being 30. As we got the task to record a video and send it your way for this occasion, I thought a lot about what I would say um, and about what could be something that was either clever or meaningful uh, for you. Initially, I thought of going with something kind of quirky and funny. Then I thought about doing it in Tagalog, just so that no one else could understand. <laughs> but ultimately, I think what it comes down to is just remembering the friendship that we've built and the friendship that's been there from the beginning. What started off as friends racing Corvettes in a Suburban and stealing Wildcat signs grew into friends that would follow each other anywhere and that have immense faith in one another. Your family has a good man at the helm. You're a great person. I couldn't ask for a better person to call my best friend. Happy birthday, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. Happy birthday, Matt. Um, I just wanted to tell you how much I love and care about you. Um, most of my earliest memories have you in them. I remember you singing Elise is a Strawberry for me all the time. Um, I remember the Brave Brave Sirlises and when we tried to refilm Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, and I remember that we really hit um, a stopping point with that film just because I refused to be anyone except for Will Turner because he was my favorite. Um, I just remember how much you really helped me be creative as a child with all of the stories that you come up with. Uh, little books you would write me about Tofu, um, who would be my friend, the little creature. And um, you've just been a real guiding point in my life, Matt. You've fostered that creativity for me. And um, I've always looked up to you. Um, even when it was just you showing me music or um, when you would just talk to me about my future life plans and uh, help me figure out my 401k and everything going on with my life currently. Um, but most importantly, Matt, um, I look up to the person that you are and the person that you are around other people, um, especially your family. Uh, as I'm at the point in my life where I am looking for someone, uh, looking for a future husband, uh, one of the traits that I know I want from him is the same trait you have, which is the way that you treat your children and your wife, just with pure love and patience and kindness. 
and how you put the Savior first in your home and family. And I just really appreciate you, and I don't know what my life would be like without you. I strive to be a lot like you every day just because I love you and I admire you. Uh, you're a wonderful big brother, and I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Love you. Happy birthday, Matt. Congrats, man, on the big 3-0. Um, first memory that came to mind, as I was thinking about what to say here, um, is when we went on the expedition to Walmart. That's the first time I met you. Um, I remember we didn't really talk a lot on that trip. I feel like the outsider, not being a business guy. Uh, but I do have to say I was not intimidated by you. I was impressed by you. <laughs> I remember you just always looked so confident, put together. You had all your stuff ready to go. You seemed to always know what was happening. And I just looked up to you because I was like deer in the headlights the whole time. So you continue to have that confidence and moving forward in your career and family. It's so fun to catch up and see you know, what you guys are up to and what you're doing. And I hope you had a great birthday today. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Matt. Matt. 30, huh? That's, that's quite quite an accomplishment. <laughs> Sorry if this video doesn't include a, a little one. Um, yeah, he's still here. He hasn't come yet. So, um, But oh he wishes you happy birthday, too. He does. And, uh, yeah, thanks for playing uh, PUBG with, with me all the time. And uh, Mitch and... Uh, Always caring so much about us, sending us up, I don't know, lifting up texts. Yeah. You're very good about that, and we, we really appreciate you and um, what you mean to this family, and helping to keep us all together. Happy 30th birthday, and I hope the next 30 years are even happier. Yep. We love, love you. you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy, happy birthday to you. Matt, you're 30. It's amazing. I just want to say we will never forget when you and Sarah moved into our ward, you just jumped in, you were both so positive, you came to everything, and you were a breath of fresh air for the Bella Vista Ward, and we miss you still. A breath of fresh air. Um, yeah, and you really changed the lives of a lot of young men and women, I'm sure, in the um, missionary class. I remember we were having trouble getting people to come out and then you guys started teaching it and it just took off like crazy. And you know that 30 is officially middle age. So you're a middle-aged Matt, yes. middle-aged Matt. And also I just wanna say when I came to bring a meal when Sebastian was born and you opened the door and your hair was like this, or your face was like this. And I just thought, yep, that first baby really knocks you off your socks, but y'all did it, did it again, so. We're just hoping you have a great birthday that you feel really loved because you are a special man. Love you. See ya. Happy birthday. Malagayam Pati, Matt. Hope you have an awesome 30th birthday, bro. Love you, man. Happy birthday, Matthew. I sorry I'm recording this video um while well, I'm dangerously driving on the highway, but I wanted to give you a little taste of Southern California. It's probably similar traffic in Arkansas, but um, just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. I've been thinking about you and hope it's a wonderful year, thir turning 30. That's, that's a fun year, I think. And I just love you and look up to you and um, want you to know that uh, you're, you're Grammy's favorite. Happy birthday. Greetings. We just wanted to wish a happy birthday, but before we do that, it took us many, many years to figure this one out. So, Matthew, in case you've never had this done before, we wanted to sing happy birthday to you backwards. Very difficult. That's why it's taken so many years to do this. But on the count of three, we're going to do this for you on your birthday. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Matthew. Happy birthday to you and me more. Oh, if that didn't make 
make your day, I don't know what will. But just in case that has already slipped your mind, we want you to remember the first time that we get to go and visit you on your turf. I mean, you came to our wedding, but we didn't get to visit you until you were where? Council Bluff, and Iowa. Council Bluff, Iowa, and you were a big fella, almost three or four. And I remember going up those stairs, just so tired, you know how old folks are. And I laid down on this bunk bed down at the very bottom, the bottom bunk. And then all of a sudden I hear this young boy coming up the stairs. I'm thinking, ha, ha, I'm awake, but I'm going to scare him really good. And then I hear voices. You should see him. He's really big. He is like a big, big. And all of a sudden I just couldn't scare the daylights out of you because you had one of your friends with you. And you opened the door a little bit, peeked in and stepped in. And then you told him, says, it's okay, you can touch him. And I almost bit my tongue off to keep from laughing. I stayed still only because I didn't want you to just go completely nuts when I scared you. We just want to wish you a happy birthday and let you know how much we love you. Have a great one. Take care. God bless. Love you, Matthew. Happy birthday! I miss you, Brother Kunzler. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Matt. Matt, you old man. Can't believe you're 30. Okay, so three words that come to mind when I think of you. What are they? Young, wild, and free. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Young, wild, Those are your free. words, baby. <laughs> um, the Usurpus video, classic. One of my all-time favorites. Going to Jimmer movies. Not movies. Jimmer, uh, Jimmer games. Those are super fun. Um, but Matt, you're just like one of the best people out there. You really are. I love you and I'm grateful for your good heart and for how fun you are. And oh, the other memory. Or Ed. We can call you Ed. No. No, but uh, two, two remember boys. a man and two boys broke into <laughs> BYU Stadium or whatever, got arrested or whatever. Hey, that was 12 years ago. Wow. That's crazy. That is crazy. Happy birthday, Matt. We love you, Matt. We love you and your family. Bye. Hey Matt, happy birthday buddy. Congrats on reaching a new milestone in your life and welcome to the Nerdy 30 Club. A bit of foreshadowing from what I can see, you're gonna realize things don't heal as quick as they used to. You're definitely gonna be growing some gray hairs if you haven't already experienced that. And for some reason, kids are gonna be calling you Mr. from now on, so have fun with that. Listen, in spite of that, I hope you continue to age gracefully and I look forward to many, many more years of friendship and good health for you. I love having you in my life and I appreciate you, man. Hey. We've got to get to Chick-fil-A again. I really miss those traditions of ours. I look forward to getting together with you soon. Happy birthday. I love you, buddy. <laughs> Joyeux anniversaire, Matt. Happy Joyeux birthday. Joyeux anniversaire, la puce. Un gros bisou. Gros bisou. Et on t'aime très fort. Ouais. Parce que t'es un gentil garçon. Happy birthday, Matt. <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Matt. Matt. Uh, you're a great person to talk to about sports. I love your takes. And Matt, thank you so much for being such a great influence on the young men and also the young women in the back. We're coming back from the <laughs> temple trip and we are so blessed to have great leaders of which you are one of the greatest and we love you. We're grateful for you and so grateful for what you do to teach the young men the way you do. Yep. Uh, anything else you want to say, Max? No, I think I covered it all. Penny and Ember? Thank you. Have, have a great day. Happy birthday. <laughs> Love you, Matt. See you. Yeah, have a birthday. Ya. Wait, hold on. Maligang araw ng iyong anak. Sige ya. Bye. Bye. My man, Matt Kunzler, man. Happy birthday. Welcome to the Big 3 -O. I turned 32 just a couple of weeks ago. Um, you definitely, you, you start feeling a little bit older when you hit 30, man, so... You feel older, you start looking a little older as well. Um, but you're you're aging like a, a glass of fine wine, my friend. Um, man, I miss you, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, from the bottom of my heart, man, the time that we spent in Bella Vista War together and the Young Men's Presidency was a pleasure. Um, one of my favorite people to serve with. Um, 
and, and I appreciate that time that in that friendship we were able to, to form and, and build upon. Um, you're a lifelong friend. Anything that you need, I, I'd always be here for you, man. Happy birthday. Miss you guys. Again, welcome to the Big 3 -0. Happy birthday, Matt. Happy birthday. We love you and we're grateful for your wonderful example and we hope you have a wonderful day. Joie. You. Za. Me. Ze. Matt. Je veux un M. Je veux un A. Un T. Je veux un T. Okay, do you want to show your show your picture? Show it to the camera so they can see it. Hi. Okay, it. Kobe's turn. Um, this is a a um fo fox um um and uh and uh um a lizard and a spinosaurus and a. And, uh, and it says happy birthday, Matt, doesn't it? In a fight. There you go. Say happy birthday, Matt. Happy birthday. Happy birthday again. We love you. Happy birthday, Matt. I hope you're doing well. It's been like so long since I've seen you. But I'm always just so grateful for how you treated me and all my friends like we were adults, even though we were all just crazy and not responsible for anything. Uh, but the way you taught us how to, you know, mission prep and everything like that, like you really inspired me to want to actually um, learn more about the gospel. And yeah, I'm super grateful for you. So happy birthday. Hello, Matthew. I just want to wish you a very happy birthday and hope it will be very special and meaningful to you. Um, I have some very tender and sweet memories of you. And one, I just want to say that I never did hear you show any disrespect to your parents. Uh, I really appreciated that quality in you. You were so kind. But I never heard you tease your siblings. You are always very kind to every member of your family. There's something about you that um, that your 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 nature is extremely kind, and I know that you are that way with your wife and your children, and it's a very Christ-like quality. I also remember <clears throat> when Rochelle and Elise were born. Your mom and dad brought you and Mitchell and Patrick here uh, for me to take care of. And I remember you sitting out uh, on the curb waiting for your mom and dad to come with their babies, their newborn babies. And uh, you were just so excited that you had baby sisters and uh, you just radiated as a little boy that uh, that your mom and dad came home with your sisters, both sisters. It was just really neat. Just want you to know, Matthew, that I love you dearly and I am most grateful that uh, Heavenly Father sent you to our family and that you are grandpas and my one of wonderful grandsons and I get a kick out of you uh, whenever uh, you call me. You say, Grammy, this is your favorite grandson, and you are really right up there. You're just really special and a very wonderful favorite to me. Joyeux anniversaire, Max! Passe une belle journée! Bon tous ensemble! Gros bisous! <laughs> What's up, Borge? Just uh, finishing up a shift here at work this morning. 
But uh, just wanted to say happy birthday, man. Uh, here's to another year of life on this earth. Uh, it's great to be considered one of your uh, one of your friends, and uh, I'm thankful for all the memories that we had together. And I hope that you have a another great year with your family. Uh, from my family to yours, uh, we love you. Uh, we're thankful for you, and uh, have a good one. Happy birthday, Matt. Matt, Matt happy, happy birthday. birthday. We hope you have a wonderful 30th birthday. We hope it's extra special, just like you. <laughs> We've just been reflecting a little bit about uh, serving with you in the Philippines Manila mission and just have so many good memories. You know, you came just a few months after we started in September of 2011 and uh, you just uh, just were happy from day one. And we were looking at some of the things that uh, you filled out. There's this little sheet that you filled out when you came to uh, as a new missionary. And some of the things it says on here is, uh, President, the question is, tell me what kind of companion y you will, will need. President, you will find that I don't ask much, but I really feel like I need a companion where uh, English is not his native language. You really wanted to learn the language. In fact, when you rated yourself on Tagalog, you said it was a minus one when you got to the mission. And you learned the language really well. The Lord blessed you. You're just an amazing missionary and just a, a great leader in the mission. I don't know how many times I looked at this picture on the board there of Elder Kunstler. And every time I looked at that, I'd have a smile on my face because I knew you'd you'd be doing just fine. I didn't I didn't ever worry about Elder Kunstler. He was just such a great missionary, a happy missionary, would do whatever I asked, and it was just a joy to serve with you, uh, Elder Kunstler. And uh, one of the things that we just we just kept uh, looking at some of our stuff. You know, here you were a trainer with Elder. To, to Montevall, I'm probably butchering that name, but uh, you know he, as you remember, uh, left the mission and went back to an another mission, but he kept writing me trying to come back <laughs> to the, to the uh, Philippines Manila mission, but I didn't, it was out of my hands. I couldn't do anything about it at that point, but he loved you as a companion. and You were such a great trainer. And uh, I, I remember when we, uh, Towards the latter part of your mission, I was getting down trying to decide uh, who should be the next assistant to the president, and you were on the short list for that, and you would have been an amazing assistant to the president, but you didn't really care about position. You'd always do whatever I uh, asked you to do, and we really, the Lord really needed you more over in the island of uh, Caron at that time, and to train a new missionary there and, and just take care of things. and. You just stepped up and, and did a marvelous job. And like I say, I just never had to, to worry about you. Well, Matt, we sure love you. And when I think of you, I always think of your happy, smiling face and that you were always so optimistic. You always brought uh, joy to the, uh, to the mission. And I remember when you filled out your paper as you left your mission, I always asked for departing wisdom that you would leave for the new missionaries coming in. And this is what you said. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. And you was always a doer of the word. You went forth and served with all of your heart, might, mind, and strength. And we are so grateful that we had the opportunity to serve with you in the Philippines Manila Mission. We just want you to know how much we love you. We continue to pray for you. We're grateful that you've been blessed with two special little children. You're going to be a great father to them, and I'm sure they're going to follow in your footsteps and be missionaries and help continue to build the kingdom. And amen to everything that Sister Stuckey has said. And, you know, we rejoiced when we got this uh, announcement about you and Sarah getting married and being married in the house of the Lord. And we're just so proud of you. And, we rejoice in every update we get. We keep your cards and think about you and your children, your family. and We're just excited for you and we just hope you have a marvelous 30th birthday and know how much we love you and how much we miss you. God bless you. And we wish you many, many more birthdays. <laughs> Happy 30th.
We'll talk to you later. Love you. Hey, Matt. Happy birthday here in a few weeks. I uh, sure love you. Uh, so I was, I was thinking what I might could share uh, in one word that describes you, and lots of words do, but this is one that stands out today, this year, um, on your birthday. Um, <clears throat> I recall back, you probably were about maybe, maybe 10. And uh, it was back in that time where all of you boys were learning to ride dirt bikes and were struggling. Um, it's hard to learn to do, ride a two-wheeler over rocks and, and tough terrain. And we were, the four of us were out. Patrick was on the little one and you were on the 70 and Mitch was on the 100. Um, all on Hondas. And, and then I had that bigger Honda that, where pa that Papa has. And we'd gone, I think, to the San Rafael Swells, the, the, the four of us, on a fathers and sons. And, and I had gone up this hill, and you, you usually would follow right behind me. And you, you tried to come up and didn't make it up the hill. And the bike fell over, and you came tumbling off and scraped your knee, I think, and maybe an elbow. And you kind of walked off and... and and kind of uh, were upset. <clears throat> and so as you were walking off, you might've even been running off a little bit. <laughs> as I remember, I had to run you down and grab you by the arm and I turned you around and I says, Matt, you have a choice to make. Look, you can choose. He says, you, you can learn how to do this harder thing that most people can't do very well. They can ride street bikes and they can do, but to go out on the dirt is different and it's extra hard and takes a lot of practice. And anyway, the, the short of it is you, you decided, you decided to get back on and, uh, and you, you still ride, you still ride, you learn to ride, you can ride well and, um, and probably enjoy it uh, when you come. <clears throat> um, so, so the word that, that I, I, I've picked for you this birthday year, I think, I guess this is your, this is your 30th year, is persistent. You're persistent in the way that uh, you do things in your life and you've had to be that way. You've had to push through, you know, in your learning, um, in your athletics, you had to be pers persistent in developing that, those talents and um, developing um, even in your fatherly skills, you're persistent in that. And, and I think that's a big part of life. And it's the way we learn. It's the way we become, become like our heavenly father is being persistent in, in, in striving and giving effort to good things. So I'm grateful that you're that way. And I think I know where you're headed because of your persistence and, and also the way that you love your wife and, and, and I already mentioned father, so your children, it, it's just neat to see that, that you, you're, you're persistent and you're consistent in, in treating her, um, uh, as, as you should, like a queen and a very special person to you. So it's touching to me the way you treat Sarah, um, and your little ones, um, learning, I'm actually learning from you now, uh, from, because of your your persistent way. But above all, you know, maybe as it intertwines with your family, as important a thing as there is in your life, <clears throat> the other important thing is your relationship with God and, and your Savior. You're persistent in honoring them by the way you live. And um, you're persistent in, in covenant keeping. And I admire that. That's not easy to do in this world and in our lives now, and maybe never has been, but it's harder now. And so I honor you today for being persistent in your life and uh, grateful that you're my son on earth and, and that we're brothers, we're eternal brothers. Uh, looking forward to eternal things. I'm especially right now looking forward to the next time I see you, but I'm, I'm also Looking forward to eternal relationships with you and your family, obviously. And 
So that's my message to you. Happy birthday. Sure love you. Thanks for being, again, so persistent in good things. Love you, son. Bye. Happy birthday, Matt. I hope that you had a special day and that you felt celebrated and loved. And I just wanted to go ahead and share a couple things that I love about you. First and foremost, I love the father that you are. I love how hands-on you are. That the first thing you do when you come home from work is you put down your backpack and you go straight to the kids to go and play with them. You're definitely Sebastian's best friend. And that's made even more parents in the morning whenever you leave for work. It's gut-wrenching to watch him say goodbye to dad. But it's a huge celebration every time you come home from work. And yeah. I love that I was able to witness that special bond, that instant click that you had with them when you first held them when they were babies. And I'm so grateful that I get to see that every day play out. <laughs> and of course, you're an amazing husband who's always been so supportive and loving. And you, you've always made me feel safe. And <laughs> I'm really grateful also for, for how much you, you care about what I have to say and that you listen to me and, and you make me a part of of our decisions and and that's one thing I, I also really appreciate about you is that everything you do is always centered around our family it's based you you just think you put our family first and i hope that you saw through through these these videos from everyone and all the words that they've shared how special you are and i hope okay yes 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 yes, yes. I hope that you realize through the videos that um, it's not just me who thinks that you're amazing. It's a lot of other people. You've touched a lot of people's uh, lives and I'm so grateful for all of them too that they helped shape the person that you are today. A big part of that is um, I'm very grateful for your parents that they chose to have you. And so grateful also for your siblings. They're all amazing people. And um, I feel their love um, in our little chats. It's, it's amazing the bonds that you have with each other. And I know your mom said that you pretty much raise yourself, but I think she's selling herself short. You, I think you were in an amazing home and environment. And I hope that we can replicate that same environment in our home. And I know that a big part too of the man that you became today is your mission in the Philippines. I love hearing your stories and it's, I'm so happy that our children are going to grow up with that. I, I can see how much you, you love and, and miss it. You talk about it constantly and I'm so grateful for that, that they'll get to grow up with that. And I, I have to say, I, about once a week, I'll, I'll catch myself looking at you and thinking to myself, wow, he's still here. <laughs> he chooses to be here. I don't know why, but he's still here. So thank you for, for deciding to stay and being with us and, um, and for your, your patience with me. I know you need a lot of patience to be with me. So thank you so much. And I'm so grateful that I was able to find someone who has my same beliefs and who puts the gospel as a foundation stone in our in our home. It's the biggest foundation for us. And I'm so grateful for your testimony and for your love of the gospel. So thank you. Thank you for that, for, for being amazing and for striving to become better because in a sense that helps me become better. You, you are always there to help me push myself to be better. And so I'm so grateful for that. And I, I just, I love you so much. I love you so much. I, I don't know how else I can, I, I wish there were more words that could describe how much I love you. Um, you've changed my life and you continue to change it for the better. And you're just an amazing person. I love to watch you and everything you do. And I just hope that you had an incredible special day because you deserve it. I love you. Happy birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad. You want me? Friend, that I I have win with me. I have a big.